everyone, I just wanted to say hello and welcome to the group. I always like to do a little introduction video for those of you who are new and aren't sure how this whole thing works. So everything that you need is going to be right here on this private Facebook group page, so make sure your notifications are turned on. Every time I post something or someone else in the group posts and shares something, you will see the notification pop up for that and you'll be able to see what's going on. So um, if you scroll down, you'll see there is the grocery list that you can print out, the meal plan introduction, and the seven day um, meal plan itself. And you'll notice on there that I don't actually have coffee or tea in the morning. Um, that doesn't mean you can't have your coffee and tea. So I want everyone to right off the bat feel free to have your coffee. Um, I'm not going to take your coffee away from you, so by all means go ahead and have your coffee or tea or whatever you normally have. Um, all I ask is that you um, try to stay away from refined white sugar. So if you normally have sugar in your coffee, I would urge you to try even honey or agave nectar or even coconut sugar, stevia, or even um, brown, raw brown sugar. So just something other than that white refined sugar, make a change that way. And also I wanted to say that if you're used to having those sweetened creamers, to maybe just try and cut back on those a little bit. Maybe switch to a fat-free creamer or even 2% milk or even skim milk or it can be almond milk or soy milk. Um, if you have a history of cancer in your family, I would urge you to stay away from soy products. Um, so that's, that's just one thing that I would avoid is soy milk um, or soy products. Also, the meal plan is a guideline, so I want you guys to use it as that. So, um, of course, some of you may have some allergies to some of the stuff in there, or maybe you have just plain and simple dislikes of certain foods. So please feel free to swap out some foods for others. Um, like if you don't like certain vegetables, put in the ones that you like. So you'll find that um, I'm a pretty simple, simple girl when it comes to the food. Um, basically, we want the food to nourish our bodies and support your body during this weight loss and strength training program. So we want to make sure we have all those macronutrients that we need at the different times of the day. Your proteins, your complex carbs, simple carbs when they're needed, and your healthy fats as well. So make sure you go ahead and read through all that and get your groceries and get your uh, veggies all chopped up and prepped and uh, ready to go. Having said that, I want you guys to feel free to um, explore with different herbs and spices. Um, some of you may, may be real creative cooks and like spicy foods and things like that. So by all means, please use your spices and herbs and, and get creative. And just use, just remember to use the meal plan as a guideline. And when you do get creative, um, feel free to share with the rest of the group. So that's always fun when people post uh, their healthy creations on the page and then we all get to try new ideas that way so that's always nice. Alright so moving on to the actual workouts. So for each workout video I've got a shorter instructional video. Each instructional video will go over the safety and proper form of your exercises as well as the modifications. And watch those videos, scroll through them before you actually go to do your workout. Um, you'll also find that for each workout there's a printable workout sheet. Um, I like to have that so that you can print out your sheets and have it beside you when you go to do your workout. You can see what's coming next. Um, or if you aren't working out at home and you want to work out at the gym, you can print off your sheet and even take your iPad or your phone for the video and just bring your sheet to the gym and you're good to go. And also from time to time we all encounter um, setbacks or limitations of some kinds, whether it's your knees or your hips or your back or shoulders or wrists, whatever it may be. Um, if there isn't a modification shown on the video that you may need a modification for, please feel free to message me directly or post on the page and I'll be happy to offer you a different modification. Also, cool down stretches. So, Separately is the cool down stretches video that I want you guys all to watch. I do have a short version and a long version on there. Um, I don't include the cool down stretches in the full length workout videos simply because they're already 30 minutes plus 
and I like to keep those workout videos short as I can. So um, make sure you do do all your stretches at the end. So that's really, really important. Don't just get up and walk away. Make sure you get your stretches done before you leave your little workout area. Last thing, cardio for everybody. So um, for the first week, I want you guys to just do whatever you're doing for your cardio already. Um, and if you're not doing any, then I want you to get out and walk for at least 20 minutes. So I want you to aim 20 to 30 minutes of cardio um, in between your workout days. So I will have them out um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I would expect you guys to do some cardio Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. It can be treadmill, it can be bike, it can be hiking, it can mm -hmm. be going for a run, it can be whatever you're currently doing for cardio. If you haven't done a lot of cardio lately, um, I just want it to be something that you're going to enjoy doing, even if it's going out for a walk, get walking for 20 minutes. And of course, um, I do want you guys to uh, start getting used to pushing yourselves a little bit. So for your cardio, I want you guys to make sure that you're sweating. So it's not just a simple walk in the park, unless you're new to it. Then of course you want to just ease into that cardio if you're not used to it. But as your body gets used to it, I do want you guys pushing to the point where you are sweating. <laughs> okay, so there's the workout piece, the meal piece. Um, feel free to share on the page. If you have any other questions that I haven't gone over, please feel free to give me a shout, um, whether it's on the page or message me directly. And I know there's some of you who always just kind of like to be a little bit quiet on the page. Um, don't feel like you have to post, but it's always nice to hear from everybody. And I will always be asking you, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think of the workouts. Let me know what you think of the whole thing. Um, I like it when you guys ask me questions. It helps me to help you guys. And um, we're all there together. So I wanted to say a big thank you to those of you who have been um, doing my challenges since the very first one that I put out. Um, I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. You're my little fitness family. And I couldn't ask for a better supportive group of people to welcome the new members in. Um, I know when you're first starting a group and you're new, you're not really sure what to expect. And I just wanted to let um, all of you joining for the first time know that um, you will get lots of support here, encouragement, inspiration, motivation. There is no competition here. It's all about helping each other and encouraging each other because we all have the same goal in mind. We want to improve our health and fitness and help each other along the way. Um, a lot of people find that the food part is sometimes the hardest part. And it's really nice because so many people try different things and share different things and it's just a really nice positive um, group of people who bring that really good energy um, energy to the group. So um, thank you guys um, for those of you who have been following me for a while, um, multiple challenges. And for those of you who are new, I just wanted to say welcome and I can't wait to hear from you guys and um, see what you think of this. So another important thing I just wanted to mention before I forget is um, I did include a measurements chart and I do want you guys to take your measurements and weigh yourselves. And for those of you who are brave enough or daring enough, I really want you guys to take before pictures. So even a front side back picture and you can do it in your, you know, bathing suit or you may not want to be in your underwear if you want to share them. Um, but or shorts and a little sports top or whatever you feel comfortable in or even a tank top just so that we can see your body and you know don't wear big baggy loose clothing because then we can't see what's the changes at the end um, so yes feel free to take pictures now and post them or not or you can even just send them to me um, or even just keep them for yourselves and then when we get to the end of that 12 weeks, again, I want you guys to measure yourselves and do pictures and of course the weigh-in. And um, that's always a really, really fun and exciting time 
to see the changes not only in how your clothes fit and how you feel about yourself and how stronger you feel you've gotten, um, but also just to see those changes on paper is also kind of rewarding as well. So again, I just wanted to say welcome everybody and please feel free to ask me questions and message me directly and share with the group on the page. And I just wanted to say I'm glad you guys all joined and I'm looking forward to the next 12 weeks.